Greetings everyone, another tutorial by IT Interface. Today I'm going to discuss with you how to download Notepad++ and install it on your computer. So go ahead and open up your favorite web browser and navigate your way to Google. You're going to need to type in Notepad++ free download and hit enter. But the link you're looking for is sourceforge.net. And here's the download link on the home page at the top. About middle way down the page, you'll see download Notepad++ source files. Go ahead and click on that. The file you're looking for is it's going to end in .zip. It's a zip file. Go ahead and download that file. You can do it one or two ways. You can install it in place or save it to your computer and install it at a later time. I'm not going to install it because I already have it. But here's how you would install it. Once you have the download on your computer, if you saved it to your computer, just left click on it. And if you're installing it in place at the website, it will still queue the same window. Hit OK. Hit next. Agree to the general public license. And then hit install. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it. But it will open up. And the first page you'll be looking at is the README text page. And it's pretty much general information. The source editor. How to install it, of course and the project websites if you're interested has this license text in here too um, just go ahead and close everything to end up with a blank page and once you do that you're going to need to type in exactly what you see here number include space greater and lesser than signs with IO stream in between for input output. Next line will be using namespace standard semicolon. I like to skip a line and type in int main open and close parentheses. Line 5 will have your open bracket and you can start writing code. And of course at the end you'll close it with a close bracket. To compile it, since you're writing in C++, you need to change it to C++ language, which is at the top change it to C++. When you're done writing your code, you're ready to compile. I'll show you how to compile in another tutorial. Hope that helps. Have a good day.